Tension in Aso Rock as Tinibu reshuffle cabinet. My people, my people, you see, say this present administration, confusion just there for them all, even among the dead. And you can't see, say, it be like say, the kind set of people where our president give appointment for different places. Some of them, they know they perform well. And you see, say, who not can they do it work well? Now, wait till they follow. Now, sack be the matter. You can't see, say, the matter where be said they on ground now. They want to reshuffle cabinet. Too. And you go see, say, this kind of matter go come put fear for some of the ministers. But you, so my people, my people, the matter, I go continue with Tamo. You can't see, say, President Bola Tinibu is reportedly planning a major cabinet reshuffle with underperforming ministers facing the sack. According to a report, he said the move can't come as pressure mounts from within our side and ruling all progressive congress, APC, for Tinibu to fire inactive ministers. Last year, you can see say Tinibu establish the results and he can't deliver units to measure the performance of ministers and top officials, warning that underperformers won't be fired. The impending reshuffle come follows the recent replacement of the Directors General of the National Intelligence Agency and the Department of the State Services after the heads of the agencies resign their appointments. The punch, quoting an unnamed presidential source, can say some ministers will be dismissed, while others will be reassigned to improve effectiveness, but did not disclose the ministers likely to be affected. According to the report, it can make a class of some ministers. They go go, and a few will swap positions. Then new people, they go come bring them on board. Though, but the president go come focus more on capacity now, on people where be say he go easily add value to his government. Too. Also, it is believed that Tinibu's close associates have reportedly agreed that a stronger cabinet is needed though, to implement its policies effectively, with concerns raised about the capacity of current ministers to deliver desired outcome. This one now, it don't show say Tinibu, our president. According to the close associate, come say of a truth. This one shows say the people will be said that they the cabinet, they're they will go, they're not the feed the helper to deliver on the reforms where be say he plan to implement. The associate, according to the newspaper, noted that the president cannot afford to waste another year, insisting that Tinibu needs to bring in people with more energy and expertise who are more patriotic and willing to roll up their sleeves and work for Nigeria to turn things around. The general concern among some of his aides, friends, and even the public is that the cabinet can be far better than this. There is a consensus among his, that is Tinibu close friends, that he needs a stronger cabinet to push through with his policies. It is one thing to announce policies, so, and another thing for that policies to stand and for those ministers 
to deliver outcomes where we say the president won't. Awful times, so it is the capacity of your cabinet members and heads of agencies now they determine how you go fit and deliver on those outcomes. So now, so the source can give the report. Like if you look at the editorial by Financial Times earlier this week, you can see say in other palatable at all. And what they were saying is that yes, he has taken bold decisions. The reforms are good, but he has a weak cabinet that cannot help him to deliver on those reforms. That is why it appears like we are wombly. So he needs to bring in people with more energy and expertise who are more patriotic and that they're willing to roll up to keep themselves in a tight corner to make sure they sacrifice themselves for the masses to do the work well so that they go feel deliver well and Nigeria go come turn around. You see, say for the past one year, ah, he get the way the matter be with the way the country they go so he can't show say the minister they know they deliver well and with this one now. Tinibu no one waste another one year. He said this next one year is very critical. It is the next one year that will define the government. And are true. Because if this continue like this, by the time this year end and next year reach, he still they go like this. He shows say all this way subsidy matter and the devaluation of the Naira where we say can't make life they difficult for Nigerians. Especially to the commoners, na zero, he should say our government na deceive, he don't deceive Nigeria so. So this one way be say, if they want reshuffle cabinet so, make it put people were ready to sacrifice their time to do the work well. People where be say he get the interest of the masses at Ato. People where be say they're not they greedy. Say they're not there, they're just to make money for their pocket. Then now people will go speak the truth, where go do things right. Now go make this country fit a balance well. So my people, my people, one year of Tinibu regime is done, they go like that, oh, and if they go with serious hardship and hunger, if he still continue like this, he should say, fuck up, don't do for his side, though. So now make you come say, in though they get second mind of reshuffling the cabinet to see say if you go fit deliver well and to make Nigeria a better place for everybody. So my people, my people, we know say leadership position in not day easy, but the truth is that the only thing we go make and they easy. Now if the person rule for the good of the commoners. So my people, my people, the matter in not pass like this, so make you feel free. To subscribe to Blitz Channel. Thank you.